Mountain Ranch? Dew. Uh, Beetlejuice. What? <laughs> <laughs> just trying to know, drink like, up uh, out the gate? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just, these are, you're pre-programmed as a sleeper soldier, so uh, we're just activating you. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think I think yeah. your key terms are out of date then, because uh, mm -hmm. nothing's happening. I'm just sitting here laughing instead. <laughs> well, you have to say Beetlejuice multiple times in a mirror. Oh, we don't yeah. want we don't want to invite him to this interview. That'll just make everything even more chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I got to say, uh, I've been a fan of the show since it started. Season three so far. I'm on episode eight. It's been a blast uh, to nice. watch. Uh, I'm curious what it was like for each of you uh, getting the scripts for this season because uh, both of your character arcs are so different, I feel like, from what we've seen before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was very exciting getting the script and seeing where it went. Um, we kind of are told a, a little bit beforehand of where it might go. Yeah. Um, I... I was excited to see the sparrows and see where their powers and how they would interact with the umbrellas. I was excited to find out where Lila has been. <laughs> and um, it's an interesting season. It goes to a lot of different places. I think we have like the most, strangely, it's my opinion, the best season. And it's also the most tangential. Like it goes off in so many different directions that actually relate back to each other with five and the time travel it's so much to really kind of keep in mind what is that like for you as an actor trying to keep all of this various you know sci-fi rules in your mind as you're going into each scene it's exactly how you put it if there's like a thing where that's involved in the scene i have to go through in my head okay what's five's perspective on how the timeline works what's he actually cautious of uh it's not always a good instinct to have though as an actor because it can make some of the behavior sound non it like seems non-related watching it back i'm like oh people probably have no idea why i'm acting confused in this moment so but yeah i, I hope the comic book fans appreciate it and are start trying to follow along with five's logic yeah uh and so ritu i'll, I'll turn the next question to you and then aiden if you'd like to answer afterwards uh this season also sees both of you interact far more often uh, i feel than we've seen before including your fight scene early in the season and so what was that like for you to you know getting to reunite and then sort of work on all of those scenes together i was really excited to um to get to work with aiden some more i think that uh, lila and five <laughs> Relax. Lyra and Five have some really, uh, a really great uh, dynamic. Um, they hate each other, and but they need to work with each other to figure out why there's this blip in the timeline and who better to work with other than someone who she thinks, you know, is probably the smartest one of the bunch, right? Um, and, you know, from working together, they kind of bond. They can't help but, you know, admire each other's intelligence. And so they kind of become friends. And that was really quite, it felt kind of heartwarming. They start a law firm by the end of the season. It's crazy. Oh, it's no spoilers. <laughs> uh, that may want to be cut. It's a don't, joke. Don't cut that. Leading into Daredevil season four, <laughs> crossing yeah. over to their Ooh. world. <laughs> the exciting lawsuit storyline. Um, yeah, so it was really fun. Yeah. Um, what was it like then uh, with that fight scene in particular? Did you get to perform any of the stunts, either of you, for that one? Or was that all doubles uh, performing that fight? Wow. That was, that was all us. That was yeah. all us. It was so, so cool. We prepped um, for weeks to get that thing sort of locked yeah. in as best we could, but... Uh, it wasn't in the script originally. We like uh, basically there wasn't so much of the kind of war between them at the beginning no. um, that I felt like we could really use. And Steve really liked the idea too. So then this fight was there, and then we it kind of got bigger and bigger as we were in rehearsals and kept Quite building with Tommy to Chang. Yeah. yeah, and then it just became this like big fight scene. It's quite a lot of fun though to like learn and sort of we were very because we had so much time too we were very involved with the choreography and trying to make it as real as possible uh so when you act actually watch it hopefully it feels kind of like a jason Bourne type close quarters fight scene that ends up 
in this just place of respect between the two characters, almost as if it's not about the fight at all. It's just sort of a check-in. Yeah, yeah, like a stalemate. Like, okay, cool, let's do this. Um, although well, Aiden it- did, Aiden did whack me on the chin whilst we were filming it. I did forgive him for. <laughs> Accidents happen. Accidents happen. Accidents do happen. Uh, at least you're not frenemies like Five and and <laughs> Lila in real life. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, I had a blast so far from what I've seen. I look forward to finishing it and spreading the word. Thank you both so much for taking the time to chat. I really do appreciate it.